Hello everyone, Andrew here. In the previous video, we talked about the basic fundamentals and the Flutterflow interface. If you didn't watch it, I'll leave it on the card for you to check it out. The fact is that from now on, we will focus on widgets. In Flutterflow, it's all about widgets. But in this class, we will talk specifically about the app bar, a very important widget if you want users to browse your app, or even for them to situate themselves on which page they are currently, and for you to provide some buttons for extra actions. Okay, here I have a blank page and I'll add my app bar to it. But where can I find this? In the widgets tab, I have these sections. And here it is in this section in page elements, there will be some widgets at the page level, including the app bar. The only thing I need to do is click on it and drag it to my page, simple as that. Okay, we have an app bar, but there's something missing in it, don't you think? We need a title, right? A text. So we're going to look for a text widget and just drag it to my app bar. Okay, so here we have reached an important point. Any app bar has three elements and they are leading, title, and actions. There is a fourth element, but we'll see it in a little while. I need a title, so I'll drop this text in title. It could be another widget, but in this case, it's a text. Let's change this name to something like homepage. Okay. That's good, now we need a bigger text, something like 20. Wonderful. Let's change the color. Okay, now let's add a back navigation in our app bar. This will be an icon button. Just drag and drop. Good. If you change the button size, nothing will happen. That's because the leading does not have an adjustable size, its size is fixed. And any child he has will fit his size. In fill color, you will like to remove the color, just like in border color. This is so that the only thing visible in the icon button is the icon. Border width must be zero, and border radius must also be zero. Let's choose an arrow icon here, a back navigation icon. It could be this one. And we need a white color here. Let's add an action button on the right as well. It will be an icon button and it will be a configuration button. In this case, the size of the button can be adjusted horizontally different from the leading. Vertically, widgets will always respect the size of the app bar toolbar. Okay, I will repeat the styling process we did on the back navigation button. I'll choose a settings icon here. And let's change this to a white color. Okay, so now we have our app bar sounding good. If you click on the app bar, you will have the properties in the right panel. We can change the color of the app bar to something like green, for example. Cool. We can also change the elevation, which is basically the distance between the app bar and the app background. Here we have the option of collapsible, which will collapse or expand the app bar as soon as the screen is scrolled. But right now this is a little more advanced, so let's keep our feet on the ground and see the basics for now, right? And here we have the properties layout section, where you can change the height of the app bar and the height of the app bar toolbar. Here in the bottom section, we have something interesting. Look. Add a bottom section to the app bar below the leading title and action widgets. This section is great for adding the page title. Let's do that. Let's get the text widget. And here it is. That way we clearly see the bottom section. 
Drop the text here and let's start configuring it. First, I'll align it to the left. And I'm going to add a certain spacing here, something like 12 pixels and 16 pixels to the left. That's cool. This is pretty good. Let's increase the size. And the color will be white. Okay. We can place something like home page or home. I'm going to completely remove the opacity of this title here so we can see exactly the correct use of the bottom section. Okay, and that's how it is. If I click on the app bar and go to the properties, in layout properties, we can also change the height of the bottom section. 52 is a good number. In fact, there is no rule, but there are good practices. The height of the toolbar is the height of leading title and actions. These three elements form the toolbar. 44 is a good number for this one. If you try to disable the bottom section, you will not be able to until you delete the widgets that are in it. In this case, the text widget. And now, yes, now I can disable it. I'll go back to the opacity of my title for 100% to show one more thing you can control. Okay, back to the app bar. First, let me just restore that height to the default. Okay, here in title properties, we have the center title option, which is already enabled, right? If I disable this, my title is aligned to the left. Depending on the case, it may be useful. So guys, for this class, you have everything you need to know about app bar in Flutterflow. Remember that you are now enabled to create an app bar to your liking. Put this into practice, make your app bar, try it, and comment below if this video helped in any way. Build Nation thanks you for the attention you have dedicated. And guys, subscribe, press the like button below. If you can support us in any way, it's exactly like that. Thank you, and see you in the next video.